Hello YouTube and welcome to another RPG Maker MV tutorial. In today's video we're going to be learning how to make MP an NPC appear in two different locations at certain times. Ok let's get started. First of all you're going to want to go ahead and download the two plugins that I provide. If you haven't you got the game time plugins, install them into your game directory folder in your JS folder just by copying and pasting them from the folder you download and the link the link will be in the description. Then come to your plugin manager up here look by clicking here. Then double click on the line, choose the appropriate one. You want game edit core. You want them at the bottom of your plugin list, especially under YAMP fly plugins. So put game edit core first under everything else then under that put game time and you all set up then click on this tab here the event creator click on a square to create a new event then what we will do is make sure it's below characters and it's a parallel process make sure you've got no image in here then you put in this plugin command by clicking on the line go to tab 3 select plugin command and type this I'll leave the plugin command in the description but uh, be sure to change the values of the time to the values of the time that you want for your own game yeah, so it says plugin command time limit 1020 to 1030 go to self switch a so from 1020 to 1030 it'll go to self switch a and it'll do this so you create a new event tab by clicking up here We'll come up, we'll click on tap event 2, we'll set the cell switch to A, make sure it's checked, we'll make sure it's A, because back here it's going from 10 to 20 to 10 to 30, it's going to do what's ever in A. That means cell switch A, so you've got to create a new event tab, it's the cell switch A, and when it gets here, you want to double click on a line, go to tab 2, go to set event location, choose the event which will be your NPC make sure you give them a memorable name otherwise it might be a bit confusing if they're just called their ID number by default I call my character Michael so you select Michael or whatever you call your NPC then you click current map you can't choose any map from your game so far whatever you've got you can only choose the current map you're working on in the editor view so make sure you're on the the map that you want them to appear on then choose a starting position we'll choose down here and we'll give it the direction of up where we want it to be facing when he initially comes into the map. We'll click OK, but I'll just delete that because we've got it set up here. Look, then I've got set movement route. I want it to be moving. If you want it to be moving when they enter the map, never use the autonomous movement, just leave it alone on fixed. And also give him an image of a character so he'll appear because on tab one we don't have an image. And it, and it's a parallel, we don't have an image, because if we had an image there, it it would appear straight away, and it would just be static and idling in there, so make sure it's got no image on there, and give him an image on, give him a character image on tab 2, and use, if you want to be moving, click on there, then click on tab 2, you've got to set movement route, and do all your configuring here, but however you want to move, and it's best to have skip if cannot move checked, so if he gets blocked, it, it won't keep waiting, he'll try the next available move. And click repeat movements if you want him to go through the, when he gets to the bottom of his commands, of his moving, if you want him to loop it again, start from the beginning. And keep going, and it'll go like that, keep repeating the same process. Like I said, do not use the autonomous movement like uh, custom set the route here, because it just will not work. You have to set it up here, look. And then what you want to do, you want to do another plugin command, the same command, but this time around time, from time 10.31, <coughs> excuse me, to 10.45B, go to self switch B, that means. So we create a new event page by clicking up here where my mouse icon is, and that other pair here, we click self switch on, we check, make sure it's on B, then take the, make sure it's got no image there, that means it'll disappear when it gets to that time. And that's fine, make sure it's below characters and action button. Oh yeah, and on tab two, make sure you've got you can have any anyone you want here, below characters, similar characters, above characters, but make sure it's on parallel. Otherwise if you had it on auto run, you wouldn't be able to move the player into his finished processing all his movement routes. Make sure it's on parallel. And click OK. And then you're all set if you just want to appear in one location. And when it, when the 24 hour clock 
gets goes around the circle and gets back to that same time, it, it'll appear here again. I won't be, I'm not teaching this video how to only do it once. You have to figure it out yourselves. So I don't want this video to go on too long. Uh, but if you want to appear in another location, you do the same process, pretty much the same process again, although the time is a bit different. So what we'll do here, we'll go to my map. And we'll click on the event, double click on the event. And we'll do the same process again, make sure it's got no image. It's below characters, it's a parallel process. Do the plugin command, the same one, time limit, but this time it's from 1046 to 1055. Go to self switch A, create a new event page up here, look. Go to tab 2, but when it creates a new event page, make sure it's on self switch, it's checked and it's on A. Then go to set event location which can be found in tab 2 make sure you've got the same event which is in our case is Michael now on current map you'll be presented with this map because this is the one you're currently working on in the editor as you can only choose that map in, in this property then click a start position we'll click here and that's the starting position regardless of where you've got the event created on your map I just put it on the same position so I don't get confused and choose the direction you want him facing when he comes when he when he appears. We'll have him in up as if we're making it look like he's walking into the area. Then we set a movement route to do all this, and then we've got plugin command, time limit from 10:56 to 11:05. Go to B, and then we create a new event page. We make sure self switch is checked with the B. We make sure it's got no image so it disappears, and you can just leave below cat's an action button. And then he never appears, and I only want him to appear in two places at the same time at 24 every 24 hours. You can just have it. Uh, you can just set it a minute past your time. So you, this is 10:56, and then you can have 11:57 if you want him to just disappear. But about 11:05 to be safe. Now, if we play the game, you should watch that back now. We'll save it. Here we go. So 20 past 10, when this clock gets to 20 past 10, it'll appear up. Down here where my mouse icon is, here he goes. There is where my mouse icon is. He's just appeared, walking into the screen. And at 1031 he'll disappear. There he goes, just disappeared. We'll go into the next area. And at 1046, when the clock up here, look, at 1046, it'll appear where my mouse icon is. Right spinning around my mouse icon look. There you go. There he is walking at 10 55 it'll disappear for good but then it'll do this this will repeat endlessly every 24 hours at the same time and there you go youtube that's how to successfully have npcs appearing in any location you want at certain times of the day this was a request video for Wayfinator, forgive me my friend if I'm not pronouncing your name right, but it is a request video for Wayfinator, but it's also for anyone who wants to know how to do this, if, it, if you've still got any more comments, about Wayfinator about the video, if you didn't understand or some problems, let me know in the comments, and same goes to anyone else watches this video, if you've got any problems or any queries, please leave a comment in the, video, in the comment section, if you like this video at all, please give it a like, until next, and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Until next time, YouTube is Bad Apple Gamer, and I'm signing out. Get ready.